Okay, well, see, it's as far as it'll go in there. And I'm going to try. You can see through it. You can see the con contacts. This was a cool one. And you know, I've had this for so many years. I don't remember when I bought it. I put one in a little radio. Had bottom in a little cup of bottom at Radio Shack way back years ago when that was the only place to get stuff before they had before you had the internet to order stuff on and uh, I do something with this wire get out of the way I don't want to over what I'm thinking is I'm going to heat up right here on the ground part just like I did a while ago by accident and uh See if I can get it warm enough to move it back. I'm gonna use my. If it slips and goes in there, I'll be burning myself. Or you could burn your plastic and too if you want to. If I can get that to just sit there, hold that like that. Nope. I guess I shouldn't try to put it in there until it gets some warming up going on here. So I'll just sit here and warm it up for a minute. Might as well try. I mean, otherwise I'll just cut the wires off and uh, throw it away. But if it would go in there, I can see whether or not it's making contact. So I thought I should maybe leave that in there for that. Uh, well, I was just my original idea was to. <coughs> Just to give it, uh, give me a way, a way to hold on to it. But then I thought, you know, that could actually help. Oh, it's, it's warm enough to move it already. <sighs> okay, I straightened it up some, but it doesn't go in there. I'm putting some real force on it. I don't. Where am I? Over there. My solder iron fell off. So I did straighten it up some. I don't know what all's damaged in there. I can't see it that good. This is a... I think it's getting it hot now too much. I'm not burning myself. I think I'll stop for a minute and look it over. Oh, that plastic raised up right there where I've been heating on it. It is probably so out of shape that you can't you can't push the connector in there now. It's hitting the first one, but it's not going past it. As far as I can see, none of the internals are ruined completely. I can see every little clip, every spring, the spring, everything. So if I could just get it to where it would go in and out of there. See, that's some serious pressure and it ain't going in there. I don't know what's holding it. It doesn't look really like anything would be holding it. It's probably just completely ruined. Maybe on the, you know, when I was heating these too much, they, uh, dropped down see it was sitting like this and so they could have just dropped down in there and uh, they're stopping the connector from going in there but it's straight enough now it's back to being straight enough that it should go in there yeah then it's pretty pitiful when they make stuff that's so that the plastic is so much so, it melts so much easier than your and I overheated it but used to the stuff didn't melt that easy now it melts so easy that uh, it's just a real neat trick to get stuff soldered without ruining the plastic before you get it you saw, well, uh, heating it, I heated it up a lot more than I wanted to.
with that first soldering iron, so that was my first mistake. I can't blame it all on the cheap stuff, but I'd like to. I'm wondering if I heated up my maybe the ground one. It's the one I really laid laid down on for a while. I don't know if it's gonna help, but if I heated it up a little bit, I guess it can't really hurt. Like I said, it's either ruined or it's fixed. See, the instant you touch it, that solder melts. Oh! Starting to come out of my deal now. This one is not the best, most heavy duty male connector but it's on it's a bad it's got a bad wire or something so I'm not so worried about it you know harming it it's plastic you can't get them tight enough to keep from messing them up I've got it most of the way in there Let's see what it's doing now that did help I believe let me look at it what's the I can't tell when I'm in the camera and when I'm out. I guess if I would zoom out, I wouldn't have so much such a small space. Maybe I wouldn't be making such a terrible, quite as bad of a video. There we go. Uh, believe it or not, they're still not touching each other. Solder is wanting to drip off to the. Just need to get rid of some of that. It's too much. I think I'll heat it on the top side of the deal now. I heated it on the bottom side. If that thing worked after all this, that'd be amazing, wouldn't it? Just keep on trying. That one that I'm really messing up the solder on is the ground one, and it's right there. It wouldn't hurt if it was touching that, but I'll try to clean it off here in a minute. Now I'm going to quit trying to heat where my solder joint is. It's just, make, just taking all the solder off of it. Yeah, I could solder better when I was 10 than I'm doing right now. I could do, I used to could do really pretty solders back when I could see. So do your projects when you're young, kids. You can get old, it's just too darn hard sometimes. <laughs> Put it underneath. Now here comes another big under my chair and everywhere. There's definitely a nest around here, but I don't know where it is. Get away! Go outside. He wanted to land on my leg this time. I got him a little bit, and he ran away. They won't leave until you spray them. And then if they don't die, they come back. Yeah, I'll put the, uh, put the soldering iron underneath it and let the heat rise on it. Need a oh I've got one. Let's try using it. I got this. It'll melt if you get it too hot. Thing is I need something to hold it. I need to be able to push on that with my pliers. Am I even in the picture? It doesn't really matter, does it? It just matters to get this done. 
Um, push on that with my pliers. Can't get get it all together there. Oh, maybe I've got it hot enough. Let's, uh, I was trying to put my arm on the iron to hold it down because when you know when I try to put pressure on the iron, it just raises up. Yeah. And the bees won't leave me alone. And if I let that iron part, it's bad enough right there, but if I let that small part set on the that metal, it will just melt it. I nearly melted it out of there and completely ruined it once. That was my old original soldering iron stand, and now I got a nice one. I think I'm just fighting a losing battle here. I think this part is not the part that needs heating up. I think it's a, it's either that huh, that's uh, turning that nut's turning because I'm melting the plastic enough. It was turning just by off of the end of this deal, soldering iron. I never knew about it using a wet sponge until I got this thing. I can't show it. It wouldn't really go under there. Well, it might, but that's already getting hot. I had my other <coughs> soldering iron sitting on it. But here's my one of those. I don't remember where I got it. Oh, yeah, I inherited that from my friend's dad. I think that's where I got that sear soldering iron too. And it's an older one, so it's uh, better. Than everything you buy now, I mean, things have been made in China for a long time from sears and everywhere else, but China's gotten worse than ever. I don't think I'm going to be able to make it work. Now it's all swelled up on this side. It wasn't before. I don't have any idea whether it would make the right connections if it did go in there. I don't know which one. I can't see it good enough. You know, it's, you can see through the plastic, but not that good. And uh, the more I shake it gets. I think there may be some melted plastic down there now. It could be getting in between the, where you're trying to go. Oh. I think it may be. Well, I mean, one of my contacts is going the wrong way. Can't tell. No, maybe not. It makes me mad to ruin something I've had for so many years saving it for just the right day. Hey, that was actually... Oh. I think I see what's holding it. I'm afraid that it came apart from itself inside of there. Problem is, when I Check it out. I can't really see the contacts. Can't see what they're doing. Well, I did bring my uh, rubber bands out. I used a lot of times. I put my magnifying glass on a, a little block of wood, and I get some rubber bands and I. Uh, Strap it to it. So I brought that out here earlier and then I decided, well, it's not going to help. Let me get a couple of rubber bands and try it. If I can get that. I know I need one of those. I have a light inside on an arm in the house. 
are those lamps, but it doesn't have a magnifying glass on it. I need one of those. Really bad. Guess I should have stopped the video to do this, but. Now, let's see. I gotta pull it back so. I think it has to be way on back there to keep keep the balance. Okay. You know what? I might actually just look through the phone at it. We'll see. I don't know about that. We'll try it for a minute. Let's see. The phone makes it look a little closer. I better go this way then. This doesn't do the job though. And it's oddly that's a in some ways a better view, except for it's I can't see through the plastic. But, uh, I'm gonna stop the video and see try to figure this out. Uh, I can get to where I can actually see it myself. I don't there's no way for me to wait, or is there? If I put that like that. Oh, I can look through there from the normal. So well, here comes another B. Leave B. Leave me B, B. I have never seen. I've had them bother me before out here in the last few years, but I've never seen so many. As today, ever. I grew up in this house, moved away when I got grown, and then came back. And so, spent a lot of years here, though. Now, oh, there he is again. Down there on the floor at my feet. He might have been sick. Well, he went away. He, giving him a. There's another one. Get out of here, Ray. There's two of them. I guess I should have took a clue a long time ago and just gave up on working out here today. I don't know why. Yesterday didn't bother me at all. It was a beautiful day like today. It's been cold for a couple of weeks. I got a mosquito repellent candle blowing, centronella burning, but it's not. These don't mind that. They like it, I guess. Here they come. I guess if I'm going to ever get them to quit, I need to find the nest to spray the whole thing, but I don't know where it is. Honey, these, those are, these are bees, you know, not not yellow jackets or wasps or anything. And I know where the wasp nests usually are, but the bee nests, you don't see them too much. They usually hide better. I didn't want to go fool with them. I wasn't, I was trying, I just thought it was one. Sometimes you'll have one that just wants to bug you and... A lot of times if you'll kind of ignore it, they'll go away, but they've been really persistent. Now I know I've got poison all over me. I just wanted to solder this and then go back and get it back in the house. I just wanted to have this ready for the next time I miss. I've been rigging it up for my Adreno, for my speaker output, on, PWM speaker output on my Adreno that I just got. Can't see a thing. Oh, I'm looking at the... Well, the bees made me forget what to look at and how to look and what I was trying to do. I mean, it's fine to leave it where you can be seen in the phone, but I need to be looking through the magnifying glass itself. And every time I sit down, the bees come back. 
can't see it from sitting down anyway. Okay. Oh, if I put it where it can be seen in the phone, then I can't see it in the deal. Okay. It kind of works that way. There's another one. Trying not to use too much of this jump, but it sprays a lot every time you hit that button. It seems that if you don't just drown them in it, it doesn't really kill them. I must have killed. I don't know how many I've killed. Five? Eight? Ten? I know I sprayed four at once a while ago. But most of They didn't all hit the floor, though. They took off. So I don't know if they went off somewhere else and died or if they just keep coming back. Or if it's just a whole darn nest of them, but where? They're not. I can't find them. And I haven't been outside other than <laughs> looking for them to spray them. I didn't go out there. I didn't go out there and disturb anything. Okay, so... I have to put it where I can see it. I can get it halfway easily and then it stops. And the reason I keep trying is because it looks like, since I can see the connectors in there, I just can't see good enough. It looks like that it might still actually work. Let me uh, stop the camera and get it as set up where I can see better because I'm going to have to. The camera's in my way. Okay.